The weather is unbearable even early in the morning, so we keep pushing north over a few mountains and there should be a cooler temperatures. We saw from the Google Maps that there is this pristine clear river. We are hoping we can score the spot there and set up a camp and just kick back and relax for a few days. Good morning from incredible, beautiful, incredible, toasty Albania. It's hot in here. Ooh, even in the early in the morning, we did mistake last night. We just ended up sitting in our lounge area. And we had the lights on and also this mosquito net. But there is this mini, really small mini mosquitoes here. And they got through and we couldn't actually sleep last night really well. Yeah, they don't make any sounds, but when you get bitten, they like uh, burn. It was awful and it was so hot, we have to keep all the windows and doors open. From the Google Maps you can see that uh, the future road that we are driving is... Extremely sicky sucky and it takes like four hours, so in our driving phase maybe six hours or something. So driving day continues and it's kind of sad that we did crash the drone. Oh, we did not crash the drone, the drone... Crash itself? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not to blame, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, entering the Albanian Alps, the most stunning part of the Balkan, or at least the most stunning part of the Albania. And it's such a shame that we cannot get aerial footage, but we try to annoy we try to, to annoy each other. <laughs> we try to annoy each, each other that too, but also enjoy the views with our eyes. Are you ready to hit the road again, my love? Yes. Are I'm you ready. excited about it? Yes. Another hot driving day in a beautiful scenery. ACs. Full blast. We, I'm excited. <laughs> and, and about the Albanian Alps. It will be fun. Small stop and lunch and little plunge in the river. This is the mouth of the Valbona Valley, so we're gonna see that crystal blue clear water from now on. Yeah, there's quite many people around this area also enjoying this place. Stupidly hot, but still so beautiful, doesn't matter. We found an excellent place to stay next to the river there's a mosque and a bit sketchy looking bridge, so we are doubting. Is it strong enough to our van? Always scary when there's no sign. Yeah, it's good. There's a metal beneath those planks. So planks are not the, like supporting part. Rate 
are overnighting spot. It's on the shade. Woo! It a hot God. day. And also, it's windy here. The river gives us a little bit of breeze. Uh, coldness to it. Uh, just perfect place for these kind of days. Yeah. In the Greece we used shelter as a churchyard. But in Albania we used... It. Mosques. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's mosques everywhere and there's a chapels everywhere in, in uh, Spain. So, we are adapting to local things. <laughs> There is a hotel or some kind of complex. Oops, very next to our van, other side of the river. But luckily, it's not ready yet, so there's no customers. If it would be a restaurant or hotel going on, we would of course not park our van here because it's not just suitable. We can see several peaks from here, and I think half of the Valbona Valley from this spot. So it's quite good. Look at them go! Yes. <laughs> Loving it, just enjoying. I think I'm gonna take a chair out and enjoy my day on the shade. Yeah, and we can get a tiny internet reception here so we don't get bored. Yeah, we have the telecom or is it the... Uh, one. One. Yeah, old telecom and one. Prepaid, working great, 100 gigabytes of data and the internet is quite fast even here. Yeah. Perfect. First impressions of Albania are really good because Albania has a really dark near history. Only a few decades ago it was like a North Korea of Europe, so now it's very European country. And seven years ago it was really trashy and... A lot got... of street doggies and... Uh... Now we haven't seen that much street doggies and also there's not that much trash. So yeah, we it's... are really impressed. The so... country is growing so fast. And growing to right direction every year. Perfect. I'm pretty sure we are going to love our time here. Yes. Yes, we do. Alpanian Alps and I think these are as good as real Alps in Central Europe. Really beautiful place. Valbona Valley is the place that we are at the moment. Uh, this is uh, so far away from Tirana and so far away from the coastal line so not that much people. We have seen like I think 20 hikers walking here but otherwise quite uh, empty place but the st stunning views around this is the first place that we are in Albanian Alps and yeah I don't know why we missed it last time because remarkably beautiful surroundings yeah that side over there after those mountains there is uh, Montenegro which is our next country We changed the spot, we were a couple of nights uh, camping beside the river. Now we came further on the Valbona Valley, this is almost to the end. You can see the mountains behind us, so that is the end of the valley. And behind that is the Tet National Park. And why we came here is because now we have 360 views of those gorgeous, gorgeous mountains around us. Yeah. It's a bit hot here. It should be uh, more clouds tomorrow, but today it's no cloud at all. And the UV index is 10. So you cannot be here on the sun or you burn yourself in, in a couple of minutes. So I will go again beneath our canopy. Our fridge fan works! Yeah! 
we have a LPG fridge in our van and LPG fridge works when it's plus 5 to plus 35. If it's hotter, like now it's plus 40, it doesn't work that good because it's too hot there and the whole mechanic works by vaporizing ammoniac. <laughs> so it needs cooling. The fan is controlled by thermostat so it starts only when it's needed. So when the outer pipe from the uh, vaporizer is plus 45, then it starts. And when it gets below, then it stops. Tortillas again. It's really good hot summer food. Because when it's hot, you don't feel like eating anything too hot. <laughs> Makes sense. We left the grease, but the grease doesn't left us. Chachiki. We found Chachiki again. We are so happy. This area is called Albanian Alps because the mountain tops here are kind of pointy ones in European scale, so they do look like Alpine scenes. There is this pristine, really cold, see through translucent turquoise river floating, and Alpine meadows, and free roaming cattle, and a bunch of wildlife. Also, a really dangerous wildlife too. So there's scorpions and those hook-nosed vipers that are incredible poisonous. So I have to look my step when I walk here. There's a plenty of those. You can find these self-made fire rings all around the Albania in the forest and in the river beds. We have not seen anywhere forbidden signs or read from online if it's okay to make a live fire or not, but I'm guessing because we are inside of the national park and because it's during summer making a live fire is absolute no, but I don't know. It seems very common here. You can free park your van inside of the national park. I think it's pretty rare. In some European countries you can stay overnight in the designated parking lots with your camper van, but not really drive into nature and camp there. So Albania is heaven for free camping. The nature here is so crisp. I love it. I think this is 10 times more better than the Dolomites in the Italy, where it's really crowded place and run by over mass tourism. There is still mountain tops that have patches of snow left but it's hot here, it's plus 40 degrees. Because weather is so hot, we are just going to survive. And it means we will find the most suitable place for our van that has the most shade that we can find. And unfortunately, we are not able to go hike these gorgeous peaks that are surrounding us because of the weather. So. We are in the survival mode and we will do just some lazy chilling and camping. It's way 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 too hot for do anything active.